Welcome to the Psalms of Morning Prayer for Ash Wednesday. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Truly, we know our offenses, Lord, for we have sinned against you. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness. According unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee, thee only, have I sinned, and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest, and be clear when thou judgest. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness, that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy free spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. For thou desirest not sacrifice, else would I give it. Thou delightest not in burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. Do good in thy good pleasure unto Zion. Build thou the walls of Jerusalem. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness, with burnt offering and whole burnt offering. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Truly, we know our offenses, Lord, for we have sinned against you. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7. You are a people sacred to the Lord your God. He has chosen you from all the nations on the face of the earth to be a people peculiarly his own. It was because the Lord loved you and because of his fidelity to the oath he had sworn to your fathers that he brought you out with his strong hand from the place of slavery and ransomed you from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Understand then, that the Lord your God is God indeed, the faithful God who keeps his merciful covenant down to the thousandth generation towards those who love him and keep his commandments. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, protect us in our struggle against evil. As we begin the discipline of Lent, make this day holy by our self-denial. Grant this through our Lord, Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Psalm of Morning Prayer is brought to you by the Confraternity of Penitents, penitents.org. I'm David Rollins. Join us again weekdays as we continue to pray from the unceasing and universal prayer of the whole people of God. The Liturgy of the Hours.